all ye. Oh, oh, I can't do the vibrato. Oh, yeah, black sun in the hizzle. Oh, for shizzle, dizzle. Got an excellent show here today, or tonight, this evening. And um, I want to give a shout out, early, early shout out. Dang, I need to shave. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, man. Give a shout out. What up, what up, Deacon? What up, Deacon? Twin, what's going on, y'all? What's going on, man? Um, um, I thought Angel was doing a live today, but it was actually the sister. So shout out, shout out. Um, so where do I begin? So uh waiting on Trevor to get here. Yeah, yeah, I'm at the house. The audio gonna be super at the uh, house, man. No, no truck, no Bluetooth. Hardwire, internet hardwire. So yeah, we good. Cause you know, in the truck we're dealing with two. We're dealing with the phone Wi-Fi, and then we're dealing with the Bluetooth Wi-Fi. That's like double trouble. Double trouble. Yep. Shout out to shout out to uh, Tangi. Um, hopefully Yanga will be joining us from the studio. I told Yanga he needs to move in that studio. That studio was superb. That audio was nice. So, um, where do I begin, y'all? Um, shout out to Angel. Yep, shout out to Angel. Oh, drop the link. Oh, my bad, Trevor. Invite. Hey, Trevor, I want to apologize, man. My phone was not even charged, man. I be doing these spur of the moment shows, man. And, man, there you go, Trevor, man. Shout out to you, brother. Shout out to you. Yeah, we can. Um, let me send that invite to just whoever wants to join man this is you know open discussion you know no no we just shooting the breeze i really wanted to talk to uh trevor's friend i really wanted because he was he, he made it here yesterday but he you know i guess during the close of the panel and we were closing the show then he comes in i was like oh man i wanted to get the brother on and just kind of see where he's at man and just shoot the breeze so yeah, I sent uh Yanga. I sent Yanga the invite. So I think he's on his way to the studio. He's got work at the studio he has to do. So shout out to Yanga. Um man. Um so yeah. I um I made a show earlier called uh, You You the arena, we got the keys to the yard. And we are the shot callers. Oh man, it go Trevor. Trevor, what's good, man? Hey, yeah. What's going on? Shoot, you man, shoot. I wanted to get your friend um get it, get your friend up here, man. He came yesterday during the end so, of the show. I was like, damn. Nah, see, he he's he's really busy, man. I, I talked to okay. him earlier today. I talked to him earlier today, and he's with a client tonight, but he said, okay. um, Okay. He said he'll he'll try to stop in Saturday, or if you're doing something oh, Friday, he'll perfect. try to pop in. Um, he can pop in Saturday, but I wanted to do I wanted to designate a show just for him. So yeah, if he can pop in Friday, he can pop in Friday and Saturday. I just wanted to because you know once once Saturday come, it's going. It, boy, you we talking? You know, because uh, I got a message from. Nature mom, she like both you and Yang go wrong about capitalism and, and damn uh, uh <laughs> socialism. I said, Oh shit, it's gonna be something else. So, you know, she um she's got a whole different take scene. We both wrong. So I definitely want to hear her definition and um yeah, get her take on it. So she saw the video and she's like, uh yeah, y'all, y'all tripping. I was like, Well, yeah, hey. both 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 the, both of you guys are in the same line of work, so you know, he's um He's he's real real busy, okay. like real real busy. Okay, so, but no uh, yeah, because because he because he he sent me a message. Ironically, he sent me a message today after you know I was in the chat and I told him I was like, damn, I just I was trying to get on the live, but at the time I was in the yeah, middle yeah. of doing something, so I couldn't have, I couldn't have jumped on. Yeah, that was my bad too, and then my phone was low too. It was like when I do the lives, man, the battery just goes, it just sinks. So that's why. I, Y'all notice I keep it down like an hour because, man, it, I'll have it fully charged. And once get on the show, it'll just drain the battery, man. So, yeah, man. Shout nah, it's, out to it's, 
No, it's all good, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to like right now. If you hear any rustling or anything, I'm trying to get ready for a show that I got to do in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. Yeah, that's why I was. That's why I was trying to jump on earlier just to let you, just to let you know, um, because you know it'd be too much to type in the chat, man. Just. Yeah, I know. I know. That's why I tell you to just um, jump on, man, because it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot going on in the chat, and then you know, I just yeah, come on, you know. Oh, I need to. Oh, since I'm here. I need to give you the. How do I do this? So thing? before, so I don't know if I don't know if I don't know if Yanga's um I don't know if Yanga's coming on, but you know before Yanga comes on, I just wanted to like let everybody know because you know I, I just kind of popped up on the scene. Nobody mm -hmm. really knows. Nobody really knows who, who I am or what I do. Um, you know, so by the name. You see, uh, straight talk with Trevor. That's that's the name of my show. That's right. I do a um. I have a I have an actual podcast that I do. Um, it's I kind of do it every other week. I've been doing it for like two years now. Okay. Where I I talk about anything. So like my tagline on my show is where no topic is off limit. So. Right, right. I could rank I, like I a few weeks ago I did a show about wrestling. This oh, Sunday man, I just did a I I just did a show about child support. So it's like I could okay, I could okay. talk about anything. Okay, um, that's perfect. I love I, I love doing the religious shows. And what I wanted to tell you too, um, over the weekend I jumped on the panel with um Atmalak and Battleax. Oh shit! How did that go? No. No, you know what? I'm gonna tell you like this. What I realize, if you get people in the in a different setting, exactly, they're totally different. I totally agree. Those bro man, those brothers were so cordial. Yeah, Th there was no combativeness at all. They answered every question I had mm -hmm. for them. That's it, right. was, it, it was like I'm. I was. I was thinking like they were gonna be like how they were on the argument league, where they right, just, right, right, right. Yeah, you know, that whole, rah, 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 rah. yeah, yeah, that whole argument league that 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 shit is dead, man. We in a whole new era where we're more cordial, man. All that cussing and all that fussing, yeah. man. I, I'm I'm trying to make the arena where we can just leave that at the door, man. That was the past. Let's move forward, man. We got you know, um, we got we got some real issues to deal with. You know what I'm saying? Just like us, we're yeah. dealing with the whole like. Mississippi campaign and what type of like we're discussing that now that's never been discussed what type of economic system you see me and Yang are disagreeing with that so it's like those are constructive um debates we can have or discussions or whatever and and I mean really you know what I'm saying and he, he has actually we all have homework assignments like what would reparations look like for y'all what, what would you do with it you know but I don't think Yang is hearing us we're saying well, I mean, I know you you y'all both heard us were saying, dude, if you don't agree with the Mississippi campaign, it's just an option. We're not saying this is the ultimate choice. See, Yang is coming from this perspective, like there has to be an ultimate choice for black people. And I'm saying, no, that's not mm -mm, that's not even realistic. That's that's almost see, like a utopic mindset. See, I I always talk about like on my shows, um, I always talk about and what I was trying to say earlier in the chat, um so with my show, my show is, is podcast form. So it's on, you know, so like you can Spotify, anything like that. So right, right. you just type, you know, you could just type in straight talk with Trevor and you'll get that. But, um, and then I upload the clip, I upload clips of it on my YouTube page. So a lot of times it's not real. The, it's not always the, the full shows, but, um, a lot of my shows I deal with, with separation. You know, okay. um, about black people separating my my ideal land, and and it wasn't for no particular reason. I just figured a state. I I might I would always pose this question to my guests, like, what if what if they gave us Texas? Right, right, right. And, yes, yeah. and all the and and all the black people just moved to Texas. Do you think we could function outside of United States jurisdiction? So like we're in America, but right. we're our own separate nation within America. And, and my whole thing has always been, I don't, it sounds good, but I don't think it would work just because I don't think as black people, we could get along, um, long enough outside of having white people over us. And, and it's, it's right. unfortunate that I say that, but I just don't think we could, we could 
be, I, I don't think we could self-govern without the white man over us. And now I'm hearing about this Mississippi campaign and I'm like, mm -hmm. well, wait a minute. Now they're talking about giving reparations. So now you have a little bit right. of an advantage. Right. So so it, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. So it, so it's, it sounds, it sounds good. I mean, well, that's and, why we got to sharpen what, it and, and just make it as, as good as we can amongst men and just look at all the flaws and deal with it head on. I'd rather deal with it head on and have a look, a little civil war in Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? We hashing, we hashing it out now. And at the end of the day, we're saying, look, Yanga, this is not the mafia. You can walk away at any time. This is not La Emme. This is not, you know, the Crips and Bloods. This is not, this is not some like mafia movie where you blood in, blood out. No, come to Mississippi try to start up something that you can build for your family. And if it's not for you, then, you know, say, okay, this is not for me. I'm mean, let me try what Anon's doing. Let me try what, I don't know, somebody, uh, Akmalak is doing, you know what I'm saying? We're saying this is just another option because we need options. We can't have no, just one solution. That's going to cause a goddamn civil war right there. No. We're, 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 but so let me ask you, but let, okay. but let me ask you. So, so, we we figure black people have been in this in this country and this land for um what four hundred years now yeah so what what in that history has shown you that if we build something up okay say the Mississippi campaign goes through and everything everybody we start flourishing and everything mm -hmm. um what what would stop them from like just coming in and bombing the whole thing in a couple of years? That's a good question. Well, you know, every prominent city, they've done that. But this time around, exactly. we, have, we have black people in military positions, very high military positions. We got police and law enforcement. We have black people in militias. So times are different now. Black people are more militant. I, I would argue and say that we weren't militant in those times. We were looking for damn Jesus to come down and save us. We weren't militant. It wasn't until after Malcolm X and the Black Panther parties, we be, and even the Crips and Bloods, that we became more militant. So, yeah, we're more, we're way more militant people than we were uh, pre Malcolm X. So, that 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 element of protection will be there. You know, we got top people um, that are trained. We didn't we didn't have militarily trained people back then like we do now. You know. We got some of the best snipers. But even even in, even in, even but but even <laughs> even even in that scenario, um, do you mm -hmm. think what we what we have about three hundred million people in this country and right. forty million black people? So do you think do you think forty million can stand up to like two hundred and sixty million? Well, in that two hundred sixty million, they're not all white, right? They're Asian, they're Hispanic, they're uh, yeah, Arab. But, what, okay, okay. So uh, of 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 those people, so there's a so okay. So say there's 170 million white or, or 100 million okay. white, Fair because enough. in in those in in those other ethnicities, other racial groups, well, how many of them are are standing up for us? Um. I mean, that's a good question. I mean, we would have to set up, like, you know, every state has a National Guard. So just like how MD was saying um, we would be under the laws of America, those protections would apply also, I'm assuming. Now, MD, if you're out there, man, click on, if you know, if everything I'm saying is right in the line. But, you know, Mississippi campaign is still work in progress because I still got to address Angel leading it to the government. And so I'm gonna have a talk with Angel saying, Angel, that's too that's too socialistic for me. You know, I think free people need to have a free market. I stand by that, you know, and I still stand by Jeff campaign because it's working positive. We all because you know, Angel said whatever you want. So what I don't want is government having total control. I want Government to do what they're supposed to do, fire department, police department, you know, the courts, uh, what else do they inside that they do very well? Um, just they're not they're not good when it comes to business. And I think once I have a talk with Angel, I think we can hash that out. But governments do not run businesses. They 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 suck at businesses. They suck at 
independent contracting, they suck. You have to leave that to private businesses. The private businesses flourish the most. You know, they flourish the most. But you leave it up to government, shit goes wrong. Buildings become I would love shit. Yeah, it's just. mm -mm. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I would. I would. I I would love. I mean, because a lot of times it comes off like I'm. I'm against this, and I'm. I'm totally not. But I know you're not. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. It's just it's just that what I do, even like I'm always able to play both sides of the field. So I, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm playing good, good cop, bad cop, because Absolutely. I mean, we romant we romanticize, we romanticize um Black Wall Street so much. But, you know, I always ask the question, how come? OK, it, w it was destroyed. How come it was never built back up? Right. Um, I think part of that. Why? It was why, did, why did we lose? Why did we lose that fight? Why, you know, why, why did we lose that, that fighting spirit after that to just say, hey, you know what? Because one thing about black people, we're so resilient to say, you know what? They, they ruined this, but let's just show them we could build mm -hmm. it right back. It was, ne it was never built. It was never rebuilt. Right, right. Um, that, I'm going to have to ask Nature Mom on that because she... She does more research than I do, you know. Um, my research, she and she has access to more more uh, resources than I do. So I would definitely we we can definitely bring that up on Saturday. Um, we got Angel. Angel, hit that link, man. We got to discuss giving the government total power. We got to discuss that. I gotta I gotta talk <laughs> to Angel about that, man. Wait a minute. It was sounding good until I was like, wait. MD's like, yeah, well, you know, Angel said, leave the government in charge. I'm like, no, 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 Angel. That's mm -mm, historically that every country in the world, and Yanga will disagree with me, that has practiced socialism has fucking failed, has failed miserably. And people have died. You got to leave it to private. Uh, you got to leave it. You got to leave open the free market. That's why America is so prosperous. That's why so many people try to come here because the free market speaks for itself. Now, yeah, you ain't gonna talk about labor, this and that. You know, I, 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 I hear all that, but at the same time, I'm not here to a better solution. His, his gripe sounds kind of utopic, like oh, communal. See, a nation is only as good as its weak, weakest link. And if that weak link is not working, that's going to bring the whole nation down. That's just my opinion. I think everybody needs to be working the Mississippi campaign. I think everybody needs to have something to build the city up. And Yanga kept, I don't know why he kept emphasizing on the civil rights thing. The models are there, Trevor, the, that we've had prominent cities and Angel, MD, Myself, because I like I said, my green thumb is the proof. Um, yeah, I think this is why we have the vision because we are we are descendants from a lot of these people from these prominent cities. So yeah, it, when was it, the last prominent there. city though? When was the last yeah. prominent city? I think Black Wall Street. Some of them people are still alive. So I mean, but what what year? What year was that? What that year was, was that? That was uh, I want to say. I want to say, was it? Because they had airplanes and shit. So I'm thinking 1913. It was right before the depression. So yeah, but, but 1913. You see, you, you see what you you see what you're saying though. I mean, 1913. We're in 2022. Mm -hmm. right, so right. we. <laughs> so I mean, well, we've no, never had. That, what I'm saying is that it could be done. Like this is not some mission impossible. Like, you know, Marcus Garvey. He said, what men have done, men can do. And our ancestors have done it. So I don't know what Yanga kept looking at saying, well, after, you know, homogenization and this and that and integration, even with integration, I don't care what we went through. We can do it again. Got to tap well, based into on, ba based, based on, on what, though? Like, based on what track record? Well, I'm sorry. I'm not understanding you. I'm I'm saying like you keep saying that we could it, it's it's been done and we could do it again, yeah. but mm -hmm. I mean we're we're talking about early 1900s, right? So we need to look at the model. We need to look at the economical model. We need to look at the business structure. We need to look at everything that they did, 
in order to not only sustain themselves but prosper and 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 profit and how did they become this like self-sustaining city with no assistance so we need to study that so once we study that then we will have the blueprint and and we're more advanced now we're more technologically savvy we can we can definitely um look to that as a, a model and see okay and we can look at where we can improve too like i said militarily we could definitely improve but we can we can see how they did things and see how we can apply it in modern times because capitalism i don't care what anybody says has been functioning for the last 200 years okay capitalism is not something that america invented that's that's the biggest misconception capitalism has been around i can document at least for the last 200 years and and black black wall street was 101 years ago right so I, but you see what i'm saying like i don't yeah, i don't want to come off like we're still no no but we're, are we not still functioning on a capitalistic system that was started in 1776 yeah but we're but understand what i'm saying and again because okay. i know angels out there i know md's probably listening i don't want to come off like i don't think this could work that's not what i'm saying but okay. you're you're saying that we're we always look at Black Wall Street as 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 the pinnacle. But what I'm saying is, in a well, no, I wouldn't years, just use them. I would use all the cities because I mean, even MD, he said he's he's got some paperwork he wants to bring. Both MD. But what I'm saying, but what okay, what I'm saying is though, in a hundred years, we we went from the pinnacle mm -hmm. to where we are now. Right. What have we what have we seen in that hundred years that says, man, you know, if we get on the same mindset that this could work, that's all I'm saying. Um, well, Yanga talked yesterday about agendas and I said, yeah, we do have agendas like, OK, as y'all know, I talked about the, you know, Bill Gates and Monsanto. They control the whole food source of the world. They determine whether if you're, I hate to sound like a broken record, whether your grapes have seeds or do your watermelon have seeds or not. This is a worldwide thing going on. What Mississippi will do is allow us the power to say no Monsanto. How many times have you heard, Trevor, people complaining about GMO foods? Oh, Things all the time. I have a friend. All the yeah, time. I have a right. friend that 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 all he does is is tell me how bad seedless things are and things like that. Right. So the Mississippi campaign will give us the protection against Monsanto and Bill Gates from coming in and wrecking our crops. So the state power, we will have the power to say no Monsanto and no Bill Gates crops. That. We will have the power as black people as an agreement. Like we may not agree on a lot of things, but most black people don't want genetically modified food. Mississippi campaign will provide that haven for natural food. That's one example. So I'm not I'm not trying to so, sell nobody a utopia. I'm saying, yo, this is some real stuff that we can do. Like we can have, um, as twins say, watermelon nation. You see with the little seeds. So what I'm saying, I'm just using yeah. that as an example. I, like, like, I don't want to sound obsessive. That is just an example. We can do, I don't know, dentistry. We can do, I don't know, uh, we can manufacture, I don't know, bullets. We can do all kind of stuff. But natural food, we can definitely do. So every black person that disagrees with genetically GMO, no seeds, come to Operation Exodus, Mississippi, and we have all, not only will we have the number food source because it's natural, we will have the best tasting food source because you got the watermelon in its most natural state, the cantaloupe in its most natural state. We will have grapes with seeds again in their most natural state. And if we don't want to, well, I would have to talk about the pesticides, but like I said, they will be no GMO. There won't be no Bill Gates worrying about Bill Gates doing this and that and Monsanto doing this and that. That'll be a no fly zone for them in Mississippi campaign. So that's just one example. And I, yeah. I, and I, and, and again, advanced, I mean, that's why I said it would be more advanced than Tulsa. We can look at Tulsa, but it won't be a it won't be a 100 percent total prototype because we live in a more advanced society. So we can take the modern problems of today. Like like I said, genetically modified foods. That's one. Yanga, we can propose that 
not only because a lot of people don't know this, black people don't know this, you know, the federal government gives subsidies for convicted felons. Like businesses will get paid. You can, you, they get paid, but black people don't know this. White people know it. In fact, they go so far to that, like a lot of cops that you see are felons or ex-felons, but black people don't know this. I know it. Yanga don't know it, but I know this because I'm connected uh, with a lot of people outside the black community. And I don't want to, um, I, I see Angel just came on, so I want to get this out before he, because I, I don't want to interrupt this, I don't want to interrupt this bill. Okay. But again, I, I don't I don't want the chat or anybody to listen, listen to think that I don't think that this would work. That's not what I'm saying. But no, no, it's like when, 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 when I look, when I look at, when I look at the current state of black people right now, I have to always ask myself, how do we get off of, how do we get off the nipple first of all? And the nipple is how do we get off of white? And, 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 and I think if, if we could centralize black people to Mississippi, would they have, would, would they still have that mindset to where, okay, let's, let's strive. Cause yesterday MD said something. Um, I asked him a question. I asked him, I said, um, you know, why don't we build our own table? And his response to me was, oh, you want a kitty table? Well, anything, I, I would much rather own my house than rent it. So well, to me, to I me, anything, that. yeah, go go ahead. Because I, I think anything, Controlling anything in Mississippi, ownership. Mississippi would be the table. So again, I'm going to say this again. I, know, I sound like a broken record. If we have watermelons that have seeds and we have all this product Guess who? Saudi Arabia, Mexico, China, Russia, Ukraine. Guess who they're going to be coming to their food supply? They're going to ignore all 49 other states and come straight to Mississippi. Where the watermelons at? Where them cantaloupes at? Where where all them natural foods that you got there, Mr. Angel? God dang it, boy. You niggers know how to grow God dang food there, boy. Where, 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 where will be the number one crop in the world? You, 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 that my, my, my that last okay i mean it don't know my, my last that's just my last thing because i i got i got about i got about 15 minutes before i gotta hop off but i'm i really want to hear what angel no has to say um okay. i don't know where i don't know where in the last two episodes we we came up with this that i wasn't big on agriculture like that's that's oh, no, not that was, that's, that's not me yeah i got i got if, if if I if I was to take you guys in my backyard right now, so you can right. see how huge it is and how I started planting certain things, because my mindset now is, hey, I'm telling my wife we need to start growing our own food because right. what they're selling in the supermarket is just no good. So you know, I'm I'm, I'm all in, man. I, I'm right. I'm all right, in. Right. And there's a lot of black people that would agree. So I, to that. I, a lot of black people agree to that. A lot of black people have green thumbs. And, and you don't have to necessarily want to do agriculture. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, just like how you, I don't think, I'm going to take a stretch, Trevor, and say, I don't think your mom and dad taught you how to plant. I think you just had a green thumb. And am, am I right in saying this? Maybe they did. Yeah, maybe correct. they did. Okay, my parents didn't That's teach right. me how to plant. And I, and I can goddamn plant just about anything. I did a rubber tree in my backyard, and it survived the harshest winter. And now it's, it's blooming again. I got a, I got a goddamn shoot at the dang rabbits trying to nibble on it because that's the god that's the god in me that's the god in me that knows how to do that though but even (laughs) what i'm saying you call it god i call it genetic dna memory that's all i'm calling it something that can be passed down without even consciously realizing like you know when they say oh they got a green thumb what chances are they mom and daddy had a green thumb I'm sure Angel has a green thumb, and I'm sure his mom and daddy has. Well, well, I'm your sure mom and dad. Well, I don't even think Angel even tried to plant any plants. But you know what? We'll talk about that another time. But um, I will say this: Mississippi campaign, you know, is strong suit is the agriculture, but it don't have to be agriculture. Like MD was saying, we could we could ta- get back to tailoring the best suits in the world. Guess who they would come to to get their suits tailor made? It will no longer be London, England, because London, England, and I think uh, Sicily, or is it uh, Rome, somewhere in Italy, they, they're they like the top two. We would be the top in the world. We would surpass England and Italy. I've seen their suits. Yeah, they're all right, but they're nothing like how the black men, 
you know what I'm saying, tailor. If we we give that's another thing. That's you know what I'm saying, soup tailoring, agriculture, dentistry. We were keeping up our teeth long before the white man. I don't know if you ever seen Django where the guy was traveling with the thing and he's like, What yeah. heck, what's going on around here? What is that? He's like a dentist. Hmm. He, what, what is a dentist? I don't know what that is. He's like, you know, his teeth rotten, and the guy's like, clearly you don't know what that is. So that was just a <laughs> You know, but but if it the, if the people, suits if the suits it, if the suits don't say Gucci and and all that stuff in there, will our people want them? No, they'll want them because I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you, you play a trick on our people. First of all, the white people gonna want them. The white people are gonna be like, oh, that looks good. And anything, and I hate to say this about our people, but once the white me people say, oh man, that, you see them things down in uh, down in Mississippi. Well, wait, them dang suits look good. All you have to do is say to white man, them suits look good. And you're going to have black people like the Pied Piper following. Oh, Master said it's good. We're going down there and get some suits. So even if they're not part of Mississippi campaign, they're going to come for the suits. they definitely coming for the goddamn agriculture. The watermelons with the seeds, you can spit out. They're so sweet. They're the sweetest in the world because your only option is either Mississippi campaign or Monsanto or Bill <laughs> Gates. Take your choice. I'll take Mississippi over goddamn Monsanto and Bill Gates in the day because I don't know what the hell they're doing to that. And Bill Gates wanted to keep the population down. You think I want him to feed me and my family? No. Same with Monsanto. They got genetic seeds that wipe out natural soil and natural plants. You think I want to put that in my body? No, black people, we would be big on, and this is just my two cents, we'd be big on, if we got natural crop, our health would get better. Then we can concentrate on physical fitness. We would be the experts in so many fields. That is being at the table. That is being at the table, offering something that the world wants, not just, oh, neighboring states like Alabama or California. I'm talking about Saudi Arabia. I'm talking about Bahrain. I'm talking about China, Russia, Ukraine. They'll be, Russia and Ukraine will be fighting to get to Mississippi to get some of our products. So I'm talking about a world that that puts us at the table. But right now we're working through the, um, you know, sharpening phases. And, you know, so, Angel, I'm going to have to discuss leading the total power into the government. Now, I understand we would be in those positions, but I don't think I think private industry, I think you should just leave them alone. I think the government, Angel, I think they should be in charge of like your police, your fire department, maybe even your sanitation i'm a, we could put that up for debate but your court systems of course but when it come to private industries no hands off angel hands off let them private industries do what they do because private industries always beat out government uh uh, uh buildings i mean businesses it don't work angel so you know that's 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 i got a question for angel, angel. yeah oh uh, <clears throat> Angel, what what's what's the succession plan like? As far as okay, so like I, I live in Florida, so you know what, what what's the succession plan where for us to actually get up and go, and start migrating to Mississippi? Well, I think uh, I want to thank you. Uh, is it Brother Steve? Trevor, 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 Trevor. Okay. Oh no, no, just uh, Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. Yeah, okay, Trevor. Okay. First, I want to acknowledge, uh, of course, the host, uh, Brother Black Sign, and, and you, Trevor. I think there's a, well, there's no misconception because I believe uh, we've been talking the Mississippi campaign since 2018, and there's a very short five minute video that basically breaks down, you know, just basically gives a basic foundation of what the Mississippi campaign is, is about. And there's nowhere in the video where it talks about we have to move to Mississippi. People keep bringing that to me. Well, when are we gonna leave and gotta go to Mississippi? There's nowhere. Mississippi campaign is a national effort. If it's not a national effort, you might as well leave it alone because it's too big. It's too big for a little organization or a few individuals to, 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 to handle. It has to be a national organization uh movement whereas whereas there's enough support among the 40 million that we come together 
to support building up this one particular state so this state can become our safe haven and sanctuary state. And those who participate in that state, you can prove yourself to be a citizen. Then wherever you are nationally, then this state supports you. I haven't heard anywhere where it's against the law. Like, so for instance, where do you say you live, uh, Brother Trevor? I'm in Florida. Okay, you live in Florida. You're helping the Mississippi campaign, and a vast majority of brothers and sisters in California, I mean, in Florida, are helping the Mississippi campaign. To my knowledge, there's no reason why, if you are in a position or brothers and sisters, or doing something that can actually help the state where the state can't help you by giving you a grant or a low interest loan. Why the state of Mississippi can't give you a low interest loan in, in the state of Florida? I don't think that's never been done. I don't think it's never even been tried. Nobody even think about nothing like that. But see, this is what would happen if you if we had a government or a, or a nation behind us you can have people from Africa that will come here and their nation will support them. They will send them such and such and blah, blah, blah. We don't have that type of option, so we got to make it for ourselves. So the Mississippi campaign is simply about making that for ourselves. We don't have nowhere to run to. All these other people come from these other nations and they run to America for asylum. When we get in trouble, where do we, where do we run to? We definitely can't run to them. <laughs> so we have to create our our own. It's a national effort. You don't have to come to Mississippi. However, however, in order to get the political power that we need in order to take control of the state, and you know that we're going to have to have a certain amount of, of persons on our side to do that, this is why it has to be a national uh, movement. It also has to be an understanding to the people that engage this is like a military movement. We want to take control of this particular geographical area. This is like D-Day. We want to take control of this particular strategic hill. We want to be able to support our soldiers. Those who do want to move to Mississippi, the national, as a nation, we should support them in that effort so that we can take control of this land. Those who go must understand this is not for you to go and be comfortable. You are a soldier. If we have to go there and sleep in tents, live in a damn ditch, whatever it takes so that you can be there, so that we can get the votes in order for us to need so that we can take control of this land, then so be it. Goes back to what Brother Black Sign said. It's about work. It's about sacrifice. We ain't ready. I don't think we, we're not ready to go there. Live in a tent. <laughs> sleep on the ground. Yes, so that you can become a citizen of that of state of Mississippi so that you can vote. Because if we don't have enough support, then we'll bring in our support. We got a lot of homeless brothers and sisters all over the country. Come here and live. Support them. They become a citizen. Come here and live. Give us that vote. Support them. We're not talking about living in a lab of luxury. You're a soldier. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of... There's a lot of brothers and sisters right now on the street would rather, rather take a, a gamble and do and, and participate in this than be homeless living out there on the street like that. But it's a it's an army type situation. This is not for us. This is not a comfortable thing. So this is what some people have to understand. Again, it goes back to this 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 delusion of thinking of utopia. Look, what we're doing is nothing compared to the Americans who came here who had to fight malaria, bugs, bears, Indians, and all like that. That's nothing. All the sleeping on the ground, if you have to do that in order to look what, what look what you're trying to gain. You are the pioneers. You are the revolutionary. You are the revolutionary. You are the soldier, but you don't carry a gun. It's not supposed to be easy. And the thing about it is, once you begin to present the idea to other people besides the black community, they're going to want to get on board too because what you want to do is actually improve their condition. They would love to see their taxes lowered. They would love to see a lower crime rate. They would love to see better roads. They would love for their state 
to get all this adulation of, wow, they produce the best organic food. And right now, there's something else that we could take over that's really, really needed in this country right now, and that's the trucking industry. Yep. We could take control of that. We could be boss in trucking. Now, we got to feed our food. We're going to have to grow the food, so we're going to have to get on that. That's no doubt about that. But, and then also, you need trucks to move the food, right? Mm -hmm. So why not us be the owners of, of the transportation? And this is the perfect, Brother Blackside, Brother Tripp, this is the perfect time to make the attack because our enemy, they, they, in, they in Russia, they involved in all kinds of stuff, the Republicans and the Democrats fighting each other and nonsense. This is the perfect time to make a move. They're not even tripping. They're not even tripping on us like that. Right. Since they're not even talking about us at all since the end of George uh, George Floyd crap. They don't want to talk about us. Don't bring us up at all. Caring about what we, you know us at all. But we don't we don't, we don't see this advantage. We don't see see once some once you lose something once time expires you can't get it back. Just like a woman when she gets pregnant. She can only get pregnant within a certain time period. Once that time goes, it's, it's over. She can't she can't do nothing no more. Yep. I'm telling us that this is the time. Is it perfect? No. But it gets more perfect because it gets stronger because Black Sun jumped on board, brought his ideas. MD20 brought his idea. It gets stronger and stronger and stronger. I'm one person, Brother Trevor. I can't. I can't do it all. This is a national thing. And I shouldn't be I shouldn't be required to do it all. There's a place for everybody. I don't know them about farming, but just like MD20, let the farmers deal with it. Mm -hmm. We just set it up and put it in. Let the farmers who are experts, let them deal with it. Let those who are experts in education, that's your part. Just find your place, do your part, like bees do. When a bee come up out of the out of the cone. They just find their spot. They don't miss a beat. And the honeycomb just keep rolling and rolling. Find your spot, do it. Some of us don't mind doing some of the dirty jobs. Because uh, we do 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 in pee, pee right? It's got to go somewhere, right? Mm -hmm. Somebody got to deal with that. Somebody we got to bring in the water. We want to, some of us are vegans, but a lot of us are going to continue and want to be meat eaters. Uh, cows do a lot of pooping and chickens do a lot of pooping. Mm -hmm. Somebody, don't you know people got to clean that stuff up? And some of it is beneficial because some of that poo poo from chickens and stuff, you know, end up natural fertilizer mm -hmm. in, in the soil or, or whatever, things of that nature. But I can't do this by myself. And there's a lot of things I can't think of because it's just too big. But all of us together put in our little bits and pieces without trying to convert somebody. Well, that's good, Black son, but you know Jesus Christ. I didn't come here for no Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> we come here to work. Even when Brother Trevor was bringing up Tulsa, Oklahoma, they wouldn't sit around, well, you know Jesus, is, he'll fix it. They wasn't doing that. And the sister, I was waiting on her program. I guess you got, got it postponed till, to the weekend. But the sister, yeah, Trevor, yeah. Driving, yeah. which is the foundation of the Mississippi campaign, Mississippi campaign is not Angel Snuffing Up Seven's baby. Mississippi campaign is the baby of our ancestors who was doing the do, kicking big much booty, but they got stopped, like the sister said, because of the terrorism of this country and right. their racist laws and things of this nature. They was already kicking butt. So the only thing Angel Snuffing Up Seven did was try to think about how they moved and I'm going to bring this up to the modern times. That's not thing Angel Snow No. 7 did. Make it. And instead of the whole South, I figure, why stretch your resources thin and concentrate on one place, make it strong, and then it can support as you move out. See what I'm saying? Instead of, like, say for instance, i give you this for an example. The Nation of Islam under Minister Farrakhan. Instead of him using all his resources, to look like a big shot. Well, you know, we we got temples in St. Louis and Atlanta and and Barbados and Trinidad and why why didn't you concentrate and take over Chicago, where nothing can't be done? They said, man, you can't do nothing about the nation of Islam. You know, approval. You know, their influence. 
You can't you can't do nothing. All the politicians would be going to Mr. Farrakhan. I'm the man for the job. I'm the one for mayor. Because you got that kind of pull in Chicago. But nobody cares about Chica uh, Farrakhan in Chicago. He's he, he don't, have, don't have no power base in Chicago because he spread himself thin all over the nation, all over the world. But there's no power. He'll have no power. His temples don't have any power in Atlanta or uh, Barbados or wherever they they at. They don't have no kind of power. But if you concentrate on one spot, make it strong, then push yourself out. Now you got it going on. See what I'm saying? That's that's uh, where we're coming from. But I can't do all this. I can't think of everything. People put all, it's not fair to put all the burden on me because it's not about me. Because I can take care of myself. It's a people thing. And again, the reality is, if the people don't want to do it, they're not interested. So be it. Why should, my, why should I sacrifice and black side sacrifice? Why should we go all our way for a bunch of uh, 40 million of, of ingrates? I'm not doing it. You keep doing what y'all do. Y'all keep doing that stuff. I keep making mockery of you, making fun of you on my channel. Because we know that you're not going to be able to get nowhere. Because it's to the point, Brother Trevor, right now, is that if you don't do it big, you might as well not do it nothing at all. Because we've waited too long. We've done nothing since the civil rights era. And even a gambler would tell you, if you want to win big, you got to bet big. Oh, we play it safe. You know, I, I invest in a little business over here and I and I build a little school. Over. It's too late for that. It's all or nothing. Do it big or nothing at all. It's just simple as that. Find your place. You don't have to like me. You can be 100 miles away from me. I will work northern Mississippi. You can be way down in southern Mississippi. We'll never see each other as long as we're getting the job done. That's what's important. But see, the thing about it, in this type of situation, when we work together for, for, for this, in order to do this, and we are succeeding and accomplishing, We'll start liking each other. So, damn, Black Sound taking care of business. Now, we really, you can see your work producing. You start seeing things. He said, damn, they're kicking butt down in the South. Damn, yeah, they're kicking butt in the North. Hey, don't forget us about us in the East. Damn, we ain't as bad as we were. Damn, the Muslims ain't as bad as I thought they were. Yeah, the Christians ain't as bad either as we thought they were. Because it's not about our religion or whatever. It's about this work putting our people on the map. Now, we did put Exodus in the name for a time period where we probably be dead and gone. It'll be up to the to our descendants to determine, is it viable for us to stay here? But now they got enough strength where now we can have a organized Exodus. We sent our people out all over the world to find where we want to go. It's not just Trevor wants to go to Africa. Black side wants to go to Israel. No, this is an exodus. This is an organized exodus. We've already been planning this exodus for decades. If we can, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad even said in the Nation of Islam, if we can get justice and equality in this nation, then we can stay here. But if we can't, we setting it up where our descendants say they are in a position now where we can leave. We've organized it. We've been planning this for 25 years, and we gone. Now, we're not going to just, just leave because we have invested here. I'm not going to leave these people with, with things uh, that our ancestors died for. Whatever. No, no, no. But it'll be enough of us where we can start a new nation somewhere else, and you have dual citizenship because you'll still be here, and you have your own nation somewhere else. And then we here will help make those people strong. And we got it going on. You can't lose. Like, like uh, Florida Evans used to say on Good Time, how can you lose with the stuff you use? It's all about, it's all about the brain. It's, it's all about playing chess. And, and stop worrying about, well, you know, the white man did this in the past. And I don't give a damn about what, I don't care about the past. This is a brand new game. A new game of chess, when they make a move, okay, I counter that move. The same thing I did when I was locked up. 
they would make a move. I said, damn, that was cool, okay. Then I'll make my move. They said, damn, he went that way. Then they'll make a move. It sort of was fun, you know, playing chess with them like that. But when it's all said and done, it's about winning, the winning strategy. And see, this is what we're doing. They never seen this done before. Everything we do is legal. Everything that we do is within the Constitution of the United States. We are part of the United States. So what can you do about it? Well, you know, they are poison the water and whatever. Well, then you're going to have to deal with the United States government because this is the United States government and more than black people live in the state of Mississippi. You got all kinds of folks here in, in the state of Mississippi. And they're not going to leave because these people are going to see, damn, that leadership is taking care of business. Ain't nobody going to want to leave here. You're going to have more white people want to come here than us. Watch. Right. <laughs> you're going to have more white people. <laughs> so that's going on. Who wouldn't want their taxes to be lowered? Low crime rate. Good food. And I'm going to tell you this, Brother Trevor, it's a step-by-step -step process because I'm not, as you know, we're not into religion. And I don't want to make nobody do nothing they don't want to do. But I want to suggest to the people and I want to suggest to us, let's go back to a time when it was yes, sir, no, sir. Where you didn't cuss in front of the children. Open the doors for the sisters. What? Bring them. Open the door for the sisters. Help the elderly take their bags to their to their cars. And when they go to Mississippi, they, when they go to Mississippi, they're gonna say those people. What is it that they got? Has but it has nothing to do with it. It's just a respect for one another. That's all that it is. We have to have a different mindset, a, a, a change. In the way that we do things i'm not gonna ask a brother to stop drinking he likes to drink you know we love to drink but i ask a brother you know you you drink 10 beers a day why don't you drink seven and then donate the money for the other three to our school system to our program won't you do that won't you help help yourself love your people enough to help our de descendants a lot of people would do that because they people want to be part of a of a winning team they want they really want to be part of something i want to use everybody including the children all these children don't have nothing to do they play video games all day take them to the farm take them to the street we start mentor mentorship programs again where the boys can be with the men let's build a road let's plow Use our children. I don't care how young they are. We're not going to have any homeless people. We're going to find a home for you, but you got to work. But see, you're working for yourself. All this belongs to you. This is yours. This is yours. And then as the state comes into its own and we figure out our budgets and stuff like that, give the people some money back. Give them some money. Give them some free stuff because their work, this is theirs. They earned it. Give it to them. I believe that we can set up a society much like ants and bees where we can actually get rid of the monetary system, period. We don't really need it. A bartering type system we, within Mississippi, we don't need all that. We got to stop chipping off on material things. I, I want a castle and uh, three swim pools in the back and all, all that nonsense. See, actually, the creation of getting Mississippi, really, Brother Trevor, that would be the, the easy part, the political, getting the political thing together and accomplishing. That's really the, the easy part. The hard part is maintaining because people expect you to uh, be a failure. Them niggas don't know nothing about governing. They don't know nothing about it. They expect you to fail. Even your own people, you know, the, the Pan Africans be in the background and look at they ain't on it. They want you to fail. You're not, we're not going to fail. They want you to fail. We're not going to fail because everybody's involved. They will see us producing, not just talking. They will see they're producing that corn, those cows. We might even open up a, our own auto factory. That's ours. 
They part of something that's winning, part of something big. That's what we need in order to inspire. This will inspire the whole nation of us in this country, that activity. But again, it goes back to what Brother Black Science say all the time. If you don't want to work, <laughs> if you don't want to work, it's not going to happen. You got to sacrifice. So what? You got to sleep on the on the ground in a tent for a certain period of time. Who gives a damn? Look what you got. What we look look at what are you going to gain? That's what you got to look look at. What are you going to gain? Well, Andrew, I got a question. If we're living in modern times, because I had a uh, I critiqued or criticized uh, what's his name Anon system. Mm -hmm. We already have buildings. Why would he have to sleep on the ground if we already have buildings, plumbing, and all the technologies? Exactly. What I'm saying in the beginning stages. If but it's necessary, have, if it's necessary. Buildings? Oh, oh, if it's ne oh, if it's necessary. Okay. Yeah, if it's necessary, I, I wouldn't want to. I mean, we want to try to avoid it, but I'm saying, I'm, right, right. But I, I just want to put people in a prepare their mind. This is like a military operation, right? When you in the military, they send you anywhere. Mm -hmm. You know, all kinds of mud swamps. <laughs> you know, you got to right. be ready to deal with it all. This is a military operation. We want to take control of this. If we if we can put everybody in decent housing and whatever, that'll be done. But this is a military operation. You might have to sleep on the ground in a tent for a certain period of time. This is a military operation. This is not pretty. What they said, freedom is not free. That's the bottom line. Freedom is not free. If you think it's free, you might as well just find your place in American society and keep doing what you're doing. If you want a change of life, you want something different for your for your descendants, and move and move from being uh, 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 this wannabe man to a real fu full functioning man, then this is what we need to do as men. Because we accomplish this, there's no doubt in nobody's mind. You're dealing with men. You you don't have to respect me being a man, but my actions show. <laughs> this is what I am. Look what I'm capable of doing. In your house, Pecklewood. In your house. Right here. And there's nothing that you could do about it because everything is legal. Everything is legal. Ain't nobody running around talking let me, about let me. Let's, kill, let's kill the crackers. <laughs> you know, all those stupid stuff like these people be doing. Yeah, Brother Trevor. Yeah, let me let me. OK, so because um, I got I got to jump off real quick. I got to jump off because I'm getting ready to do a show. Um, okay. So listening, listening to this actually come out of your mouth. Now it just completely changed my whole outlook on it, because every time I hear this is all it's always like everybody got to get up and go to Mississippi. But mm -hmm. with, with you're saying like Mississippi is is. Mississippi is just would be just like the hub, yeah. Like like basically like the the, the governmental hub, but we s still could carry on our lives throughout the the country. Man, so like this makes now this sounds good. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like it, like because I'm because honestly like when I when I hear when I hear when I hear Black Sun and MD talk about it, they've never said that you didn't have to go to Mississippi. Like that was the mm -hmm. thing. I'm like. Dang, man, Mississippi, because they'd always be trying to sell you on the land of Mississippi and everything or that you could plant and you could do this and you could do that. But, you know, I'm a Florida boy, man. I mean, I'd move if I had to, but I love Florida. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So 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 now this this is sounding really good. But like I say, I got a I got a show that I got to do um, in a couple of minutes. My guest is ready for me. Um, okay. I'm 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 a, I'm gonna definitely be tuned in Saturday because 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 I, yeah. I want it I want I need to hear that show. Yeah, so you know I'm 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 gonna jump down and peace peace to the I'm 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 gonna get with Wayne Blackson and, and yeah and talk to Wayne work something out. Um, see, see if, see if peace, Friday's peace good to for the him. chat because I want to give him All his right. own. Uh, I, peace I wanna... to the chat. Yeah. yeah. Peace to the chat. Peace peace to the sister that's in the chat too. Um. Welcome to the arena. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm that was some good stuff, man. That was some real good stuff, Angel. Cause you. you know, because like when I, I, I subscribe to your page, 
but it's like every time I get a notification that you're going live, it's always just a bunch of preliminaries. So it's never, it's never actually you. It's always something else. So, so like to actually get to have this conversation with you. Now you're really laying it out for me, man. So I, I really appreciate that. So, you know, like I say, man, peace to the panel. Peace, Black Sun. You know, you're doing a good thing, man. Don't, don't let the haters. Don't let the haters oh, um, it's not my first, get you down, hey, man. Hey, this is not our first time. It, me and Angel, we've been doing this a long time. Yes. This is not our first rodeo, man. Angel has had numerous channels uh, <laughs> terminated. Me, myself. I mean, yeah, we're we, we not new to this. That's why yeah. I, I laugh at people, man. They be like, oh, I mean, they treat us like we knew, man. We are not new to this. You no. know? Yeah, we are not. We 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 some veterans. We, we like I said, and, 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 and people trip out. I gave the title to SETI, General SETI. I gave the title to Yohannan, General Yohannan. That came from me. Ask him. Mm -hmm. Shout out to SETI and General Yohanna of ISUPK. I gave him those titles. That's how long I've been around. So, yeah, they didn't have those titles before Black Sun. So, yeah, those are my generals. All those right. are Black Suns, yeah. I'm a and so I'm a, I'm gonna jump down though, because like I say, I'm I'm getting ready for this show that I'm doing on child support. So, okay, right, um, nice I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you you too. I'll get with Wayne, and if, yes. if you go um live on if if you go live um in the truck, you know I, I'll I'll jump in the chat and let you know what he says. Okay, that's fine because I wanna yeah I wanna I wanna set just uh Friday just for him. You know what I'm saying, and just okay. know, have a you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, I want you to join too, but I want to just you know, just just shoot the breeze, you know, shoot him some, you know, softballs and see where he's at, you know, oh, uh, try, try to see where he's at. Yeah. Okay. I'm that, I'm that guy. Hey. <laughs> I'm, oh, okay. I, hey, cause All I right, man. All right. Okay. Peace, brother. All right, peace, y'all. All right. Peace. All right. Peace. All right. So now, Angel. And Yami, yes, shout out to Yami. He said it sounds like socialism. I don't. I, well, see, for me, since I don't know what socialism is, I don't keep okay. up with this stuff. Right, I don't right. keep, capitalism, socialism. I don't keep up with names. But the key thing here is just what the sister said. Was it? Was it Saturday? Was your program with with Sister Nature Mom? Was it Saturday? Was that? Yeah, Saturday. I think that was, was Saturday? Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Well, I know I replayed it. Uh, right. I heard it again because I didn't catch it from the beginning. <clears throat> but just like she said, the activity and the way our people was moving in the South and how they was going, they was creating a system. Didn't have a name. Right. Didn't have a name. They just had to survive. They was just doing their thizzy. Yeah. Matter of fact, we can call it that. Doing the thizzy. Doing the shizzle for thizzle. Thizzyism. We call it thizzyism. The thizzle. Okay, they just doing the thizzle. Okay. They're doing the, doing their thizzle. Okay. We call fair it enough, thizzyism. Fair enough. Yeah, because even she sent me a message. She was like, "You and Yang are wrong about both capitalism and socialism." So yeah. I'm like, oh boy, we done. Yeah. All right. So yeah, she's ready to go on Saturday. So. Exactly. Even, yeah, I mean, but you know, I, I I'm just trying to like say, you know, I'm 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 for freedom. Who is the creators of capitalism? European? It's hard to say because you're talking about a trade. Well, I think you know what? It's hard to say because it's you know, the Africans and the uh English and the French have intermingled for a long time. Uh -huh. You know, they don't tell this in history, but even they've mingled with the Africans have mingled all the way back to Louis the 14th, the sun King, all the way back to King Charles in England, the one that was beheaded. They've been Africans have been dealing commerce and trade for a long time. So it's it's kind of hard to say. It's kind of hard to say if the Europeans have been. Because there was a time, uh, correct me if, if I'm in error, I always can be in error. Um, there was a time before all the slavery and all this stuff. There was mm -hmm. a time when these nations and these people actually had a cordial relationship, right? 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, there was a time mm-hmm. when they had a courted relationship. All right. And so they all was part of these, whatever system it was. Right. Because remember, you had the silk trades. Yeah, you had the silk trades. You had, uh, even during the time of Marco Polo. So there's been international commerce long, long before America was even thought of. Exactly. So this is not a new concept. You know, you talk about Asia, Africa, Europe. They called it Europa at the time. You had uh, the Persian Empire. You know, commerce has been going on for a long time. You know, and when I, you know, now it's just that it comes down to private ownership as opposed to government ran. And I think that private private owners take more pride in their uh-huh. business than the government does. You know, the government, whereas uh, the government do bare minimum. They just do bare minimum. And being that we want Mississippi can't, you know, let's just say just hypothetically Mississippi to be the best of the best. You're going to have to have private, that private enthusiasm Mm -hmm. to make the best of the best. Cause the government, I don't want government running my tuxedo shops or running Mm -hmm. the, I don't want, no, no, no. Just the government run the police, run the fire department, run the government divisions. And that's it. Don't run the private business. Let the private, businesses run let be owned by the private let them let them hire their own people let them do, let them do free market mm-hmm. let them do free market so that's it that's my only gripe angel that's my only gripe i think that the government should be left out of private business that's- i agree i agree with that i agree with that uh i was just thinking about as far as like the necessity is concerned um so, I mean, but we can still have, I mean, this is still the U.S. We can still have social programs, yeah. you know. Well, actually, uh, I would like to, to uh, except for the elderly and then, you know, the real sick, whatever. Okay. I would like for us to, to work. If you don't work, you don't eat. Right. Every right. able body man should eat. But also at the same time, you don't have to work to death. We don't want to work to death. That's why a lot of people. Oh, no, no, no. no. You know, you don't, have, you don't have to be put in a system and start some stuff where. You know, you work yourself to death. You have to work in order to. But then it goes again. It's a change of mindset. Okay. A lot of people work because they want to try to keep it with the Joneses. You know, the Joneses got two swimming pools. Right. So I got to have some. Black sign. I seen a, uh, a a Caucasian man. I was driving over the road. Mm-hmm. And he's making decent money. You know, take care of his family or, or whatever. Right. Most truckers do, yeah. <laughs> you know, not to be biased, but you know. Yeah, he's, he's making decent money or whatever, but he's only in his 50s and he's driving over the road or whatever. Yeah. And he's talking about everything his people, you know, his family got and, and, and sending the children to college and all like that. Right. But I'm looking at him. His physical destroyed. <sighs> because you know, well, I don't know if you ever drove over the road. Drove, driving over the road is, is, is very hard on a, on a person. Absolutely. Because you have no sleep times. Your sleep right. time is based upon when that load needs to go wherever it needs to go. That's uh, right. You might have to get up at 2 or 3 in the morning, or the load has to be there. At three. you got to drive all night so it can be there at 6 o'clock in the morning because yeah. they stop taking loads only from 6 to 8. So you got to drive all night to make sure that you're there at six. So you've been up all night. And if you don't get there, they only take the stuff from six to eight. Right. And if you miss, <laughs> you, you know, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. A, it's a stressful life. I'm, right, looking right. At him, I'm like, whoa. And then I'm asking myself, do your family even appreciate the sacrifice you make? Because basically you, you're giving up your life. You're giving up, you give you sacrificing your life for, for your family so they can live a certain way. So they can right. have the three car in, 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 in the driveway and in the house right. and, and, and whatever. Is it worth it? And then you on the road, you don't even know your, your family anyway. Most of the right. time you're gone. Most trucking companies only give give the average driver three to four days off a month. A month. Yeah. 
Now you got some companies that that will get you home every weekend, and you got some companies, uh, you know, you come home every day. No, but Angel, I mean, so who would regulate? A little bit concerned now. Mm-hmm. We're talking about private businesses. So is it up to the individuals to kind of, because, you know, that that man made that decision to, to I guess, run those loads. So, so are you saying these jobs have to be regulated or is that the free choice of the person? I mean, what, no, what are we talking about here? But you okay, so up, you want to set up a system whereas if you want to die, working and you want all these things that's your business but also at the same okay, time okay but also at the same time you also have a choice where you can live decently but you got more time with your family your dog scruffy right and your body not all tore up and worn down or whatever because what is it they say in scripture about jesus jesus is supposed to come to bring life and life more abundantly that's what i see in the mississippi campaign right we are called Negro or the dead people. Mississippi campaign is here to bring us life and life more abundantly. We're not doing us or nobody no favor if we're going to continue to do the same old, same old that we've been doing. That's not because this is not living. Right. Killing now, yourself for your family. That's not that's not living. And then by the time you you retire, it's almost time for you to die. And you don't gave a company. You don't done all this work for everybody, and your family didn't really get your time, and you don't have no time to spend for yourself. It, it just doesn't make any sense. Now, if you want to do that so that you can keep it with Jay Z and Beyonce, that's your business. Well, Angel, I got a question because yeah. you know, I mean, we talking about multifaceted problem solution. Mm-hmm. Yanga, his biggest gripe, he keeps talking about he's a convicted felon. He can't mm-hmm. get a job. This and that, and I keep telling the brother. With the state of Mississippi, they have the power with state rights to offer incentives for those private businesses. These are the shots that a state can call. I don't know exactly. why. Exactly. So, we, right? We, can you you can do you want to explain that? Because it's like I, mean, I, I explain it. It's not, huh? You just you just done it. I mean, you. But Ang is not understanding. We are in control. Not... We are in control of the laws here now. Right. We run the show. We can hire all the damn felons that you that you want to. You you run the show. Because it's part doing. of the rehab program. We don't want to keep our people locked up. Our people go into these jails and these facilities. We want to rehab our people. Right, right. And, and can I say this? I can I'm gonna say this because yeah. I know some people that are convicted felons and they get out and they actually have been corrected. They run businesses, yeah. so you know. I'm still trying to, I'm struggling with the anger on that because him and I are both convicted felons. Mm-hmm. I've been locked up too. It gave me problems. Right, right. So I'm <laughs> trying to understand. I think it still comes down to that individual, what they want to do with their life, if they have the drive. Because I can't, I can't buy into the, whoa, it's me, I'm, I'm a convicted felon. That has not, that actually drove me to have my own business because I didn't want to go through all the, oh exactly. man, they're going to deny my application. So, mm-hmm. I think I, I don't I don't I can't I can't buy into you know but I think like I said as a convicted felon I would say okay let's look into the incentives because like I said white people black people may not know you might get surprised white uh, black people but white people get incentives for hiring convicted felons and a lot of police officers are former convicted felons they have programs mm-hmm. to get their record clean like if you apply for a police position and you're a convicted felon they can wipe that clean if they want to. They have that power. Mm-hmm. Same thing in the trucking industry. Right. They got programs for, especially nowadays, I'm pretty sure they won't, they try to get everybody and get on board. Right, right. right. They got programs, especially got programs for, everything. for that. Right, right. But I keep, you know, but I think it just goes down to the event. But see, that's the thing, Angel, when you talk about, we have to be careful because the Bible teaches a utopia too so we have to be very careful yeah. we don't some people come down well angel you said i was gonna have this and that and the other exactly. because they're thinking about what the bible promised them mm-hmm. the abundance and the go the streets paved of gold it's like wait 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 do i have to be the gatekeeper say no no brother you got to work you know you got to find a field 
and, and get your hands dirty and whatever. And like you said, it's going to be a lot of dirty jobs. Like yes, we have, have incentives for like the sewage jobs, septic tanks and all that plumbing. You got to give incentives to keep that stuff running. Like you said, even like, so because the, the cows and the pigs, like where's all that damn waste going to go? But see, this is the wonderful thing about the Mississippi campaign. Way before the exodus, like I was telling you, Mm -hmm. uh, uh, an exodus would happen long after we we dead and gone or whatever. Right. But see, the Mississippi campaign, like I said before, is like our training wheels because all these systems, all right. these systems are already, they're already in place. Right. But, but okay, so I, and I got some kickback yesterday also saying that, oh, this hasn't been done before. And now I will agree with that in a sense, but the prototypes are there. But because we live in a new modern system, we can apply new modern methods. So mm -hmm. when I say, okay, look at the prototype, I'm not saying do the same exact thing as Tulsa, Oklahoma, or the same exact thing as Rosewood. I'm saying that, okay, we have planted from nothing. Like we went, like, like after slavery, they left us to die. Like you're on your yeah. own. Yeah, you're on your own. Go, go, get, get, get from around, get from around us. Go on, right. get. And we had to survive. So what I'm saying is that the fear that people have, the skepticism that people have, we've went from nothing to something. It's been done, so it can yeah. be done again. Marcus Garvey say, "What men have done, men could do." Our ancestors did it. Yes, but I don't with know. I don't know where the they did it with less. They right. <laughs> no, that's what's killing me, Angel. I'm like, what part? Like, we had nothing. Like, right now, we got cell phones, we got food stamps, we got we got internet, we got cars. Some of us got more than one car. Yeah, we got all these amenities to kind of boost us. Even if let's just say hypothetically, we don't get reparations. I know that's uh -huh. the one thing that we have all these things to assist us we didn't have nothing nothing, nothing. after reconstruction nothing but some seeds of and we had to dodge the, the noose right yeah we had true. to dodge being torn feathered yeah beat up at the poles yeah we all had that. to deal with all these different things all so these I, different what things. are they why i don't understand what they keep missing so i'm like what am i saying <laughs> that they're not getting because i'm not you know, and I keep hearing young people talk about integration, this and that. It does integration doesn't affect me. I don't allow it to affect me. It's not, brother Blackstone. This is what this 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 is. I could be in error. You can you can check me. They they got this thing about the integration versus the segregation. Segregation is integration, except you except you are just separated. That's facts. Certain location. Facts. Yeah. We was integrated into the society as slaves. That's a fact. Okay. Right. So, right. Since we came off the slave ships, we were we were integrated off the coast. Of what do you think integrated? What do right. integ when you integrate cream with coffee? What do that mean? It's integrated. It is integrated. It's, yeah. It's it's infused together, and we were now, infused. Hey. Right. It's fused together. Right. The only way you can call that coffee pure coffee or whatever, or separation, you got to take the cream all the way out of the coffee. Right. I see where you're going with this. But you are here. It don't make no difference if you got your little Yanga town over here on the side. You still live in America. Right. You are still integrated. You're still a part of her. You got to obey the law. And if you get out of hand, they will show you that you still live in America with your segregated ass. Well, I would prefer the laws of America than any biblical laws or Islamic laws that black people will try to apply. Oh, yeah, no doubt. You know, I was in a situation, right, on here on YouTube. <laughs> and, you know, I had to, I'm just going to keep it real, Angel, I had to go to the white man. I yeah. mean, I had to go to the good old boy. That I, oh, this ain't nothing there. Yeah. Why don't you make that girl mad there? Okay, I had to, too. I, you, yeah, you went to the same thing, right? Yeah. You oh I, and I love that I, you know you I remember yeah you you addressed that so yeah you you think I want to live under black laws after what me and you went through exactly you want to talk that blackity black shit after what me and Angel went through right it was y'all it wasn't the white man it was y'all I remember y'all were goddamn jumping on that goddamn stupid bandwagon exactly 
Shit. I was watching 60 yeah. Minutes had a nice uh, story about Kenya. And man, they got like thousands and thousands of people, mostly men, been waiting to go to trial five, 10, 15 years on bull crap. Right. On, right. on, on basically nothing. Right. And see, this is something people like Yanga and, you know, the Pat Africans who all the, you know, the African stuff, let's go to Africa. Those people there, you're not thinking about their criminal system because no. their idea of criminal crime and punishment is much different than America. You think America is wild because you could do something petty in some of those countries. Right. And it could be the death penalty. Yep. And over here, it might be a misdemeanor. Right. Over there, death penalty. Right. Because they damn sure don't play with stealing. You get your head, your hands chopped off. Well, not only not stealing, but just not, um, you know, I don't know what blaspheme Allah or, or blaspheme. Exactly. What, what is that? Yeah. Like this has nothing to do with stealing. No, nothing physical. Like blaspheme again. You know they have a they have a thing called uh, yeah yeah in Iran, and I'm sure they got in a lot of the other Islamic countries. Blaspheme against Allah or something. That's a real law. Yeah, and you can be put to death. I'm like, whoa, what the hell? Like, how do you? But you're supposed to learn Their Islam culture and, all that and everything right. is foreign and alien to us now. If right. you study wherever you want to go live, you study that and understand how they rotate, that's that's cool. But when you talk about 40 million black people here in the condition that we're in right now. Oh, spoil, you mean the spoiled black people? Yeah, they got it good. Because there's no EBT cards there. There's no no, no. no government grants. There's no, no you and no freedom of the internet. You can't just surf what you want. Yeah. You can't watch whatever TV shows you want to watch. No. Uh, if you don't work, you don't eat for real over there. For real. <laughs> there oh, wait, wait, no EBT. That's right. You did say no EBT, right? No EBT. There's no, no social security. security. There's no social security program. <laughs> <laughs> None of that. Oh None man, it, it just makes you wonder about the people I talked about. Their job being slavery. But oh, you trying to get countries are corrupt. They corrupt right. as hell over there. Those that, yeah, 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 yeah. Police That's... is corrupt. The government officials they they corrupt. Mm -hmm. And if you a woman going over there, get right. You might as well go to jail because because you turned the guy in. <laughs> you know, go over there if you uh, want to. I, you and, and go in there and, and accuse a guy of rape, and then it don't be true. That woman's going to be hung or be Oh headed. yeah. Some of the countries still believe in stoning people. Oh yeah, they yeah they still do it in Iran. They still do that. They, yep, still, they still do. It. Yep, they still do. Yep. But above all, the miss what the Mississippi King campaign is about. Our people are already involved in the political process. The only thing we got to do is try to get them to understand, organize your political power, and direct your political power. We're not asking you to believe in Jesus or Allah. No. We're not asking you to. To, to, to call Marcus Garvey the, 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 the Messiah. This is something that our people was doing anyway. It had nothing to do with our personal. Like the sister, as she talked, she never mentioned the, those people because I'm pretty sure a lot of them was Christians and when they had their own ideology. They never mentioned those. Those things wasn't, wasn't part of it. One thing about nature, Mom, you're never going to hear prophetize about anything. Never. Never. never Just like the sister, like nature mom said, it was just about survival, moving yep. to survive. Yep. Making the move to survive. That don't work, we'll try this. Right. And our people are very crazy. I heard that one of the most modernized towns in America was, was a black town. Had air conditioning, yep. air heating, all that kind of stuff. Right. Was the first ones to have it. This is what made these people real upset. We got to stop these niggas. Got to stop. Right. Them. Yeah. 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 We are very. But see, look where we come from. We've always been survivors. We 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 were we were inventing things and doing stuff on the on the plantation. And the masa, you know, was getting the credit for our inventions and ingenuity or whatever. Slave running around. They are picking that cotton. Shows his hard work. <laughs> Gotta be a better way to do this. He fiddling around and whatever. Yeah. Come up with a gadget how to pick this stuff more easier. Right.
but I've done that on my job, you know, making hamburger. There's only a certain way that you can make a hamburger. I'm sitting there, how can I make this damn burger? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what you got to do. You know, how can I make this easier for myself? Right. But most people would do that, get involved in that. There was a little brother, and you know, pe- the children was dying in these cars, people leaving leaving their babies in the car. I don't know how you do that. Um, but they live leaving their children in the cars and the right, cars right. and they die in the cars, whatever. Yeah, there was yeah. a little brother that came up with an invention. How it's some kind of gadget where it give a warning to let the driver know that you got a child in the car. Look a little a young brother, he's only yeah. 10, 11 years old. Right. But see, that's the thing about the brain. That's what our brains is for. If there's right. a problem, how can I solve it? That's right. That's what our brain is for. And so, and, and that's why I was all, all for all for people to come and discuss the Mississippi campaign because yeah. I hear a lot of fear. I hear a lot of doubt. I hear yeah. a lot of just. I mean, and and let's talk about it. Yeah, let's let's iron through it because I mean, it's got to be done. You know, we like you said that. They, you got this failed war in the Ukraine. Yeah. yeah. Then you got, you know, the, I mean, it's, 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 and then you got uh, Bill Gates yeah. and Monsanto, like totally converting in food. We don't know what type of diseases and how that's going to affect our immune system, Angel. You're talking mm-hmm. about altering our foods. Now, if you don't want that, now if you want the Monsanto, help yourself. If you want, dang, Bill Gates to control your food, then help yourself. I'm saying, man, this Mississippi kind, but I can, we can roll yeah, look, look here. Okay, the Nation of Islam, all these other people talking about, they don't want to take the COVID shots or whatever. Right, right. But what Good if point. we, if we control Mississippi, Mississippi has its own health crap or whatever. Right. You developed your own stuff. You don't have to take the, the government. Right. So now, Good do point. you trust your own scientists? Do you trust your own physician? Now they have, we have our own vaccine. Right. But you don't have nothing. So so since you don't have nothing, you don't control nothing, that means you are at the whims of whoever is in power, so whoever is doing The whatever. Mississippi campaign is the tool to bring, it's the ta- I think it is it's the table. They keep talking about come to the table. It is the table. It, is the it can table. be the table. It can be the very table that can feed the rest of the world. Yeah. You know, and this reminds me of something, Andrew. I'm going to tell you a story here. When Ukraine and Russia, because they said that Ukraine is the breadbasket of the world, right? So, yeah, Angel, a lot of grain was going to Ethiopia and Somalia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When this war broke off, Ethiopia and Somalia said, we got to start making our own grain because these white folks about to trip. Mm-hmm. You know, they're making their own grain right now, but it's not in the news. Mm. They got more than enough grain now because they saw the trouble coming. They're like, we got to take care of ourselves because we don't know how long this war is going to be. We, we we know what you you. And then you heard about Ukrainian soldiers, not Russian soldiers, Ukrainian soldiers burning the crop because they didn't want the Russian soldiers getting a hold of the crop. So, you know, that, that just reminds me of that. It, you know, it, it, right now, black people, a lot of black people, where you be vegan or meat eater, I hear a lot of complaints about GMOs. I hear a lot mm-hmm. of, I hear them complaints. Mm-hmm. Mississippi campaign can solve that. Exactly. They solve that easily. We can't do anything, Brother Black Sign, and you don't have any power. Right. You got to put yourself in a position so that you can have some power. If you don't have any power, nobody wants to listen to you. That's you, nobody gonna listen to a bum on the street right. begging for change. You know, he might be right, but you don't want to listen to because he's a bum on the street. You don't have no kind of power, don't have no, you know. But Somebody in a in a suit or, 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 or whatever, you know, Mr. Businessman said the same thing that the, the what you call it. You uh-huh. listen to him. And that's what we need to do. Put ourselves in a position to be powerful. It don't make no difference whether we're right or wrong. You can be right, but if you don't have nothing, hey, you know. I mean, even when I was locked up, I was telling people what they need to do to get out. They said, Negro, you you in here just like the same way as we what the hell? You can't give me right. no advice. Right, right. But when I got Free, it was a whole different ball game. It was almost right. like, I, they almost like they worshiped me or something. Well, yeah. man, he, he did it Because <laughs> I proved what I was saying was right. They but treated you like Jack Nicholson. Remember Jack Nicholson? 
one floor of the cuckoos now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They treated him like I a god. That. Man. Yeah, I love that movie too, man. He messed up though. Yeah, he, he slipped up. He should have just slipped. got the hell on, man. He, so he damn that he, line. He that's wrong. Got that, got that lobotomy. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Like what but happened? But the now? Indian, the Indian got away though. Yeah, he got away. Yeah, the Indian got away. So it's it's. It's funny what happened to Jack Nicholson, but the Indian got away. So yeah, that thing, I think it might have been even been a deeper message there. I don't know. Yeah, I have to look at it again, but it's a classic movie. But the Indian got away. So for people now, that if do, you watch that yeah. movie, that's my experience. Oh, absolutely. absolutely! How those people acted in the that's how they was acting where I was at. Same kind absolutely. of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Matter yeah. of fact, the author of that book, One Flew Over Cuckoo's Nest. He took a job as an intern, I mean, an a, a aide yeah. there. Uh -huh. This is what he said. He said they love to hire black people for those positions of psychiatric aids. He said because black people suffer low self-esteem, this gives them an opportunity of feeling better than somebody else. Oh, wow. That's why they hire black people for those positions. Oh, wow. And that's how that's it was with me. Brother. Oh, Those shit. black people, a lot of them didn't even have a, a college education, I mean, a high school diploma. The same with the prison. But they thought they was better than me because, because of the right. where I was at. Mm -hmm. You locked up, so I, you, I'm better than you. Yeah, 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 they do that same with the prisons too, yeah. Yeah, Damn. yeah they do that. Mm. But they knew, but I, I was functioning too high. They knew it wasn't nothing, nothing wrong with me. I was functioning too high. Oh, absolutely. I was doing too much stuff. They were like, this nigga ain't nothing. You know, but you know, but the way I looked at it, since you want me there, you're gonna earn your money. <laughs> I was right. unplugging their refrigerators, stealing their keys, throwing them away. I was doing all kinds of stuff. They said there's only one person out here that's doing that. Like, but they never could catch me. Right, right, right. They, they just right, right. right. Wow. And it's, I'm, I'm assuming this is before cameras and all that, the surveillance state. Yeah, this, yeah, this yeah, the, before but surveillance. they can't put cameras everywhere. They oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. For general, but they can't put cameras. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's you know true. what I did one time? I stole one of their uh, their boards. You know, they have these boards, and they 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 uh, monitor everybody on this board. Yeah. And uh, it was Christmas time, and it's some kind of glue, some kind of sticking glue stuff that they use to stick stuff on the wall, and you know, on the mm -hmm. Christmas tree, or whatever. I took some of that stuff, I put it on that board, and just tossed it on the ceiling. Oh shit! And the uh, the nurse came. Where's Where's my board? Where's my board? They said, "You know who got that board?" So <laughs> they rushed to my room, tore my room to pieces. Oh man! All that I had to do was look up because all that I did was, <laughs> and it was stuck on the ceiling. Right? They never did look up. They, they never wow. did. Wow! <laughs> Amazing. I was Amazing. having fun with them. Oh, but they got old because when it was all said and done, they was kicking my ass every day. Oh man! Well, <laughs> until damn. I learned. Appropriate knowledge, right? That's what I tell people knowledge is cool, but it has to be appropriate knowledge for your situation. Learning about plumbing and you trying to fix a car don't help. Don't help you none because mm -hmm. it's not appropriate knowledge. We need in our situation, and you can quote Dr. Clark and you can quote from Mosiah, uh, Marcus Garvey, and Malcolm X, whatever. That's it's similar, but this is this is a whole different time period here. The it is. mindset is, is different now. It is. It's similar, but it's, it's different. Well, it's more people technology. Have to be yeah. Flexible and understand that difference and work with the people. See, Yang and a lot of these other people, they want to try to make the people come to them when you should be able, when you need to be flexible and go to the people. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because I keep telling Yang it is an option. It's not a one all fix, it's, it's an option. Yeah. You still got Anon's thing. You still got all these other things you can choose from. Yeah, it's just Mississippi cannon pain is one of the things you choose from. In my opinion, because yeah. you, it's no theocratic rulership. It's the best thing for me. Mm -hmm. I like that choice. And like I said, and then Yanga, he he surprised. Boy, he didn't surprise me. This is the mindset of a lot of black people. He's like, oh, well, you guys got an agenda. Yeah, an agenda to gain power. An agenda for better food. Yeah, these are agendas. What's wrong with that? I'm like, but we, you know, we, I, I don't get it. It's, and it's not a one-all solution. Like, like, really, to be honest with you, I think it's going to be a few people. 
And it only takes a few. It, it took yeah. a few to uh, do the revolution of this country. It yeah. was a few to run the government. It was a few to come up with billion dollar ideas. So it's not going to take a, you know, it doesn't, you know, I know Yang say he's a communalist. I'm sorry, I'm not. Not so much because somebody's going to not want to work. Mm-hmm. There's always going to be that one or even a few people who are looking for this utopia because the Bible or the Quran told them that there's this great pie in the sky and they're going to be coming. They're going to come there expecting, where's my handout, angel? Mm-hmm. But you said, mm-hmm. but you said, angel. They ain't going to be paved in gold here. You said you're going to deliver from the evil. You know, just <laughs> come on now. No. No, we, we but, bring in you. Look, it's all about work. You know, the more work you want to do, the more you get into it. And you, you can accomplish this in your lifetime in order. Mm-hmm. Because a lot of times you can work for something and you, you won't be able to enjoy it. A lot of people died for right. this nation. They wasn't able to enjoy the fruits of, of, of after the war they, they died on the battlefield yeah that's true you know but they was fighting because they they was leaving their progeny behind right they wanted to make it better for their progeny it wasn't mm-hmm. really for them them yeah. this is what i'm going to do for my progeny so my progeny my my descendants can do better right. i'm gonna make that sacrifice and these people here they remember their ancestors. You're going to go, matter of fact, you're going to go to school and you're going to learn about them. Mm-hmm. And when you go to college, you're going to learn a whole lot more about them. Yeah. They're going to make sure they burn that into your skull. Absolutely. You know, and the same thing would be with us. You know, brother Black Sign, you know, if we, if we get this off the ground, the people decide they want to do this, get this off the ground, our people will remember us. They're going to, right. these are the ones that did this for us. Right. This is why we don't have to work 40 hours a day like this. This is why we have a be like society. Find your place and do your busy. We don't need money no more. We don't even have money. We don't even have we don't need monetary. We don't need that stuff no more. They figured it, they figured it out. We did all the hard work. We laid all the ground. We did it. We did the sacrifice. We we did it. We died in the process so they could be better. And Above all, it makes no difference if you build a nation and you still haven't done nothing about global warming, environmental destruction. What the hell? What is your what is your nation? So so what is, I mean, so what's the big deal about building a nation when the sun is getting hot and hot and hard to go burn all y'all ass up? Right. You know, I mean, well, I, I think we got to take s- steps, Yanga. I mean, uh, I call him Yanga. Angel, see, because... It has to be a, a human. It has to be. It's, it's, it has to be a human uh, movement, also in the end, because human activity is actually causing the Earth to turn into a a climate where it right. won't it won't it won't support human life. It's after right. Well, unless, I mean, unless, as time goes on, our bodies modify, you know, modify too, because, you know, like. Well, let me make this proposal then for the Mississippi okay. campaign. I say that we get off into technology and research, uh, solar panels, I don't know, whatever yeah. alter- alternative sources we need to do. I guess uh, as far as research, you know, science, whatever we need to do to further research. I mean, that's something that we can look into, you know? That's something we can look into long-term. Because like I said, we, to, we'll, we'll uh, be the ones, yeah, all the yeah. Right, yeah, absolutely. We can do that. We but do I mean, that. that's that's something I'm people are, are doing, you know, uh, anyway. But the thing about it is, as long as- yeah, they're, they're doing fossil, it anyway, but we can- As long as fossil fuels are available, they're going to use it. Right. They're going to use these fossil fuels. And, because we're becoming dependent on it. Right. right. We, and we if we put enough on. stuff- in the atmosphere, you can get the planet to a point of no return. Ain't no solar panels. Ain't nothing going to stop it. It's going to just ready to do. It's busy. It's going to do what it's, it's got to do. Yeah, but Angel, doesn't the Earth repair itself? The Earth does yeah, after you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, the Earth will repair itself after you're dead. Because our bodies, you know, 
look, you need a certain amount of oxygen in order to, mm -hmm. to live. Right. If the atmosphere get to the point where you can't get sufficient oxygen, human life and any life that can't adapt to the lower content of oxygen or whatever, that atmosphere is going to die. Like the dinosaurs, right? Now, the road just said, that's cool. We're still going to be here. We, right. We've been that's adapting true. for the last whatever. And, and the early days of the earth was way more hostile than it is now. Absolutely. Yep. Way more hostile. That's right. More volcanic uh, uh, Activity. eruptions, throwing yep. stuff on the atmosphere, crazy stuff. Right, right. More right. meteorites was hitting the planet, all kinds That's of right. crazy stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Rope mm -hmm. said, I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> yeah. But mammals, mammals aren't like, ma mammals aren't like insects and some of these other life. Right, People that's true. fragile. Not going to be able to. Now, I can't say all mammals, because it's some mammals that that can do some stuff. They go under the ground and just sit there for the right conditions and sit there for years. Right, right. I'll put it in the ground. Right. Like some of these amphibians. Mm -hmm. But we didn't, that what gives me two black side. We we call ourselves gods of the, you know, they want to call ourselves well, they're, they're the god of the god of the universe. There's a frog that can be frozen, completely frozen. Yeah. And so crickets too. Yeah, crickets, crickets too. Yep. Uh, locusts. Yep. Locusts. Yep. Locusts. Yep. Bears can go to sleep for months. Yeah. You know, hibernate or whatever. I see, you know, there's some kind of goose. When they're young, they fall off the cliff and survive. It's a right. that, that does that. It's animals on this planet do some wild stuff. Right. We the gods of the universe. Let us try that. <laughs> Let's try some of this stuff. Let's the we, of the universe. Okay. Right. We get, we talk about gods and we can't even get our diets right. You know, exactly. we, man, exactly. shoot. We, we, the, the top 10 killers are all diet related, but we the gods though. When we, but this is all I ask. Look, I've been on, yeah. I was on Tahaka Bay show. Yeah. Shout out to Tahaka Bay, but he didn't do us right. He didn't do us right because I was there to talk about the Mississippi campaign. He wanted to talk about that one. Drama, yeah, drama. <laughs> yeah, he wanted drama. Well, you know what, Angel? Let's just be fair, man. And this is why I said the arena has the keys to the YouTube yard. Yeah. A lot of these channels feed off of drama. Yeah. Let's just let's just keep it real. You know what I mean, we can go down the list and we, we we you've been on some shows, I've been on some shows, and drama is what feeds. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't you know what I do? It just it just helps me to strive harder, you know, and 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 and, and lock arms. With your channel, Reality Temporal and Earth, lock arms with uh, Trevor and the ones mm -hmm. that are about business. I, mm -hmm. So I know where the drama is and I know where the people about business is. Exactly. Every night we've been on here, we've been talking about business. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about, you know, people dream about, they, they call it black nationalism. Whatever mm -hmm. they want to call it, we're talking about it. And we're sharpening, we're having conversations. We're not dang, we're not doing drama over here. We're talking yeah. about real business. You see Nature Mom, yourself, Yanga, Trevor, MD. I mean, we we the, we're the heavy hitters. Yeah. We are the real deal. So, um Angel, let them do their drama. Let them do the drama, let them do yeah. all that what they need to do, even that that person you mentioned. Let them all do the drama. Yeah, they can do the let drama. Let them do it. They can do the drama. They can talk. I've had um me and Yanger were gonna do like a little skit, a Millie Vanilli skit, because we even <laughs> called Millie Vanilli. We, you know, we embrace it because you know people can't keep up with this conversation. Mm -hmm. They can't keep up with the conversation. The only ones that jump on here can keep up with the conversation. You know, and and the ones that try, hey, and that's why I see. You know what? Let me put this against the Mississippi campaign. Mm -hmm. I, I've been following Angel for a long time, and I know. All these other talks, like you know, and you've said it on your shows many times on many channels that you've heard it all before. Yeah, you've heard all these people. Oh, we on the go, and we just live by the Bible, and <laughs> we live by the Quran, and we're gonna go off into this land. Like, yeah, Angel has heard it all. Yeah, I've heard it all. And when yeah. you came with the Mississippi came by, I said, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, this sounds different here. This sounds different here. And I brought it to dang nature mom's attention. She's like, wait a minute. That's been, it's been done before. It's a, there's prototypes. Mm -hmm. But now we're just applying more modern thing. And we're not selling no utopia. Why do people? Because they want to hear a utopia. They want to hear it. That's why they kicking and fighting. Yanga, you too. You kicking and fighting. They kicking and fighting because 
you were stabbed in the back by crazy because they all want a utopia. Mm -hmm. You're not talking that utopia talk. And that's why it rung with me because I'm like not... Angel, trust me. I know I, did. I I know utopia talk when I hear it. I know a con game when I hear it. Mm. And con, they they trying to bypass the work and all that. They trying to they trying to make a quick buck and hustle people out of money and mm -hmm. they, they trying all the slick the slick stuff, the slick junk. And we're not here for that, man. We're not here for that. We 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 got the documentation, the receipts, and the history to show, like yo. And we're, we're coming with the steps. And even if we may not agree with the steps, we can talk about it. We can exactly. talk about it. We ain't got to, everything that we're laying out and we're talking about, we ain't got to go to war for later. Mm -hmm. You know, Aaron's not going to, you know, the, the, this platform offers us uh, a place where we could just iron out a whole lot of things. Like I said, you know, um, like I'm coming to you as a man, I'm saying, I don't think government should be running private businesses. I think the private business should show, you know, you know, I, but, you know, I can show you receipts, Angel, and see, like, look, here's the stats. You know, the governments, they just do bare minimum. And I can show you across cities, not only cities, Angel, states, but countries. I can I can show I can show and prove I can bring you all the receipts showing why people come here to the U.S., even amongst the red states, blue states. Mm -hmm. People in blue states are more likely to go to red states to go find some work mm -hmm. because the blue states are always on food stamps, are always on unemployment. Mm -hmm. Now, there's times when you need that stuff, but these like blue states live off that. Mm -hmm. And then you want to have people from these blue states to try to turn red states into blue states? No, because people in the red states are saying, pick yourself up by your bootstrap and work there, son. Work there, boy. We got to get work done. Get her done. Mm -hmm. You heard that term, get her done. You know, the red yeah. states, get her done. That comes out of the red states. So yeah, we got we we th this nation. When I was growing up, this nation was proud of being a producer nation. Almost everything. I yes. Like, look, when, yes. this was the seventies when I was growing up. In the seventies, ain't too much you you could buy. It, it said made in America. That's right. They used to be an old Maytag, and they still play some of the commercials. It used to be an old Maytag. A commercial, uh, it never breaks down. The, 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 the right. Maytag man, he just be waiting like. Oh, what know, about the Maytag what about the American? Waiting, like, damn, when my stuff gonna break down, so I can repair it. What about the American muscle car? The what? The American muscle car. The American muscle car. Yeah. Oh, you don't remember the uh, Detroit? You know the. Oh the, yeah, yeah. The yeah. American muscle car. Right, exactly. They was proud of their cars. Yeah, that, those were some sturdy cars. Exactly. You still see them on the road. Yeah. American made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of, of, of their product, producing mm -hmm. and their products. The, the only the, I only remember one time that I bought something that said made in Canada, I believe it was. Right, right. But I'm going to tell you who really started kicking all this important stuff. Sam Walmart. Yeah. He started importing all this stuff. Yeah. And, that, and it caught on, you know, all this stuff from these different countries or whatever. China, yeah. That's what I remember yeah. because prior to saying Walmart, when I was growing up, everything was made in America. That's right. America always talk about we produce. Now it's a consumer nation. That's right. They got to get everything from all these different places, which, which is a mistake. And the way I look at it, if I can't produce it, I don't need it. When I was growing up, my people in Mississippi, we don't grow oranges and bananas. Right. We got oranges and bananas on special occasions, on holidays and stuff. We got oranges and bananas because we didn't. If we didn't produce it, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't need it. Right. And that's that's the way we should we should be able to do it. Even in Mississippi, if we don't produce it, we don't need it. But now we need it. There was a time in this country where he, small towns, everybody, these towns was was, was self-sufficient. They produced everything that they needed. But now, all towns, little small towns, everywhere, everybody needs something from somewhere. Right. You know, independent. I mean, yeah, dependent, rather. And we, we it's, it's messed us up. 
You know, we don't know how to farm. We don't know how to grow food like we used to. Um, well, because we didn't, we didn't got lazy from the supermarkets and the yeah. fast foods. But if, I think if it came down to it, I think we can do it. If it come down to it, we can do it. Exactly. Oh, uh, we can. When we it comes to survival, we can do almost anything. The problem is, Absolutely. you make things hard on yourself when you need to do it because of survival. You should be wanting to do that when you don't have. It's not a need. It's not. It should be a wanting. You don't have to do it. You're just doing it because that's what you do. But when you need need to do stuff, you put yourself in a position. Now I'm I'm forced to do it. It's a different ball again. Right, right, and I think that's where that. that's where Yanga was having trouble. I think yeah. Yanga was trying to say that American black people have become lazy, but again, it's only going to take but a few people. Yeah. Not, I don't, I don't agree. Yanga thinks we can bring the whole of nation of black people there. No, I don't think. I think it only take a few of us. I don't think it'll take a whole nation. I think you're, you're asking for problems. I think if you do it right it would attract a whole lot of, of folks no i'm with that no no i'm, I'm just talking about building the core foundation Angel. Oh, yeah. now, oh, now oh, what oh, it produces yeah because a lot of people don't want to plant the tree but once soon yeah. the tree blossoms good juicy uh apples yeah and they want to oh i wanted some apples so yeah i i, I get that i get yeah. the psyche of human beings so i'm just talking about just to build the platform just to build that tree now yeah. i know it's going to bear fruit I know it's going to bear fruit. I'm confident, but everybody confident. that 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 comes there ain't going to be part of the process of building where it will attract people. So I, I get the game on that growth, yeah. growth and attraction. I get that, but it's only going to take a few of us to build that core foundation but to also, where it will, you know, prosper. It's also make things more difficult because when that does kick off and when that does happen. You got all these strangers and misfits that come among you. That's right, right. <laughs> right you know what I'm right. saying? Yeah, and that's, that's, that's thing. You know, you don't know what misfit. You don't know what their their real intention is. You're always gonna have somebody trying to destroy what you do. Well, I'm gonna tell you like this, Angel. I always like Beaumont, Texas. Beaumont, Texas is an industrial city. It's like. You know, you got people, I'm sure, you know, you got crime there and all that. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, um, a lot of them people got subsidies for people that work in those factories and those oil refineries. Mm -hmm. They get special. So if you're not working in those places, you're not getting the reduced rent, the uh, some of the subsidies that go out to the city. That goes out to the workers. Mm -hmm. So there's systems that we can look at and weed out like... Uh, was it Deacon or Twin talking about, um, I think they said, was it Deacon or Twin said it, a vetting, yeah, they, I'm just going to quote, a mm -hmm. vetting process. Yeah, Beaumont has that vetting process that we can look at. Like mm -hmm. I said, I've been to Beaumont, I did construction over there, and, and it's funny because this is when I worked with uh, Dick Cheney, um, former vice president of the United States, you know, mm -hmm. anywho, they had, a, like I said, Beaumont, Texas, the refineries are, you get special subsidies for working in those factories. And that city caters to those refineries. Mm -hmm. So if you're just a regular Joe Blow, I mean, yeah, you can beat Joe Blow in the city, but it, it's going to be hard for you to live there with some shenanigans. Now, you can mm -hmm. work jobs and industries around there, and it, it'll... What I'm saying, Angel, at the end of the day, we can look at that because, like you said, it be, might be misfits to come. They want to yeah. do nigga shit. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's, I mean, I don't think it's going to benefit niggas to come to Mississippi and do nigga shit. Exactly. So I'm going to just leave it at that. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to get into it, but I wouldn't advise that. <laughs> I wouldn't. Right. Like any other city. I wouldn't advise that. Yeah. You better get out of town before it's turned down. <laughs> Angel, man, yeah, we got to do another show because, man, I, it's, it, I've been on here two hours. Yeah. Man, I thank you for I, coming. I was just ready. Man, I, I thank you for coming, Angel. But I wanted oh, to come here because Trevor was here and I, I did want to talk. I'm to glad him. you did, yeah, because he was asking a lot of questions. And I yeah. was, I mean, I get it, but I think you can better explain it 
a lot of things than I can. Because well, actually, I, I mean, you and you and uh, MD do do a real good job uh, of uh, well, you speak about the Mississippi campaign, but mm-hmm. I don't guess you guys uh, or you didn't know that it's not it's a the the concept it's a national effort. And you right, don't have right. to move nowhere. It's like well, I like that part too. I love yeah. it, but I I, I actually want to take my agenda mm-hmm. is to take control of that soil and make sure we have enough power to keep Bill Gates and Monsanto out. Yeah, that's my agenda. Yeah. So I'm telling you, that's my agenda because I know black people are tired of GMOs. They're tired mm-hmm. of genetically modified food. So Mississippi. You said, what do you, you know, whatever you want. Well, for me, it's uh, returning back to natural foods. Exactly. And, and that, that will, that will cure a lot of uh, health problems that we're having, Angel. So yeah. Also, I, the I, world, the world, I mean, organic food is a, a billion dollar industry. I mean, they, they're looking for it. I mean, the world wants it. So why not, not, why not, why not do that? You're in a position, Mississippi is an agricultural state. You feed yourself good food. Plus, it, it it supports your lifestyle, supports you. It creates a lot of jobs. We need right. trade, we need secretaries. We need a whole lot of a lot of stuff goes into that. It's just more, you know. There's a whole lot that goes into agriculture. Right. So agenda is not always an evil thing. That's why yeah. I was looking at younger like. Oh well, well, people gonna have an agendas, and I'm like, yeah, you know, you got good agendas and you got bad agendas. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have an agenda. You gotta have a plan. You gotta have a foundation. Well, yeah, our priority yeah. is food, clothing, and shelter. Those are the mm-hmm. main things that we gotta gotta deal with and provide for the for the citizens and for the people. Right. So they can work. Can't work right. on an empty right. stomach. Right. You and know, and to build with no no house, no no roof, no no shelter. Right. And to build on top of that, mm-hmm. we need dentists. We need doctors. So yeah, we you know we it's it's like you said, food, clothing, shelter, and we build. And we build and we build and we build exactly. and we yeah we we have a nation now we yeah. have a and I just said they keep talking about the nation. Really, this will be, I mean, you said tra- training wheels and it's, it's, it is. It's like buying your first house. <laughs> See you what I'm saying? There you go. It's like buying there your you first go. house. There you go. You know, you get to work with everything. You get to learn how to govern yourself and how things operate and and blah blah blah. You know. You know, it's you can do a trial and error, and by the time you get to the real deal, now you got experience. You got experience, right? And oh, it'll be easier for you to go off with a nine or go off with yeah. any other group yeah. because, yeah, you got the training wheels. And, the training. But, but the only thing is that when they lead the Mississippi campaign, they may not have no plumbing, but hey, <laughs> <laughs> you may not know water, water, but hey, no, you know, but, no hey. internet, no Facebook, no internet, but hey. You know, you know, but we prepared you to go out to these other lands, but but we gonna have internet. We exactly. gonna have running water. We gonna have plumbing. We gonna be with the modern times and modern right. stuff. You know? That's right, Angel. Well, Ben, thank you again, Angel. Yes, man. Sir. man, um, let everybody know when your next live is. Uh, I my my lives be spontaneous. I, I really okay. don't know. I, I really don't know. Okay. Uh, it, it might it might be tomorrow's corner of how I feel, or I might just wait till Saturday or Sunday. Okay, okay. So I, I really don't know, because okay. actually, B- brother Black Sun, I get burned out talking, 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 talking. I just get burned out. Well, that's why me and MD are help, man. We're, that's why yeah. we, we, you know, we we're here to uh, assist, brother, the yeah. best we can. And like I said, I'm gonna, um, you know, I'm glad that you know you're here to join us. I'm gonna assist the best way I can, but yeah. it might be some things. Like Trevor still got questions. Yanga definitely still has questions. So, you know, I, I mean, <laughs> it might be times I say, Angel Man, explain, explain it because I, yeah. I, I see it. I don't, well, I don't, it's, it's not it's, complicated. It's, it's only so much that you, you can explain. You know, it's, it's amazing how intelligent some of these people claim that they are. But then when they want to play the nut role, the dumb role, <laughs> I mean, because really, it's, it's, it's all very, very simple. It is. It's not. It's not rocket science. A lot of people just don't like your brother Black Sun. The fact that it comes from Angel Snow said, "I don't like their new." Oh no, no, I disagree, Angel. If you were selling them a utopia, they like it. 
But but I'm not selling it. We're not selling it. I just told exactly. you that's the problem. It might, it might get to the point you have to sleep on the ground in order to do that. They even got to sleep on the ground. <laughs> 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 what if you have to? What if you we we have to do what we got to do? It's a it's, it's right. a military operation. Right. The Mexicans do it all the time, and then they come over here and then they prosper. But a lot of them have to come over here and in, in, in trucks through coyotes, go through hot desert, and yeah, for the ones that make it. And a lot of them get over here and make their own. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Ooh, so ooh, good free. point. Good point. Yeah, good point. Freedom is not free, people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Unless Black Sign wants some of that utopia, he's pretending like he don't, but he really wants some of that utopia stuff. Hey, I want some just natural food again, man. I want some goddamn just spit. Watermelon seeds off the goddamn watermelon. That's, I don't. I don't want to eat Monsanto stuff. I know that's right. I don't want to eat none of Bill Gates stuff. I don't want that stuff, uh, uh, Angel. And, and well, some of these black farmers, they, they the watermelons with the seeds in it. They look pretty. And oh yeah, they are. Yeah, and they're yeah. good. Right. Yeah. Right. So I think, man, imagine if you have a whole state where you could. Because exactly. I've got the no, you, Angel. Every year I have to look. I have two watermelon men that I have to go searching for. Yeah, because they don't stay in the same spot. Yeah, but when you find them, I only got two. When you find yeah. them, they'd be the best. But mm -hmm. and, and when they die, and you know these guys are up in age. Yeah. So what happens to them when they pass away? Right. The one guy, his name is Cowboy. He wears a cowboy bag. I think he's about ninety or on. He's mm -hmm. an old guy. You know what I'm saying? The other guy. He's um he's up in age and they both man they got the best watermelons yeah. in the state of Georgia but these are just two guys. These are just two guys. I saw a video it's some brothers yeah. in, in in Georgia and they wanted to make more watermelon they said we can't get nobody to pick them cuz you can't there's no machine that you know you can pick watermelon. That's right yeah. Go out there and get them. Yeah. He said we, we would dedicate more land to the watermelons but we can't get nobody to come out there and pick them. Okay. How about one time for for a, a school project? Let's bring our children out there, y'all. Children think it's fun. Let's go out and pick the watermelon. Like, yeah, a lot of energy. See, yeah, they got yeah. a lot of energy. Now they might break a few. <laughs> you know, <laughs> but when it's all said and done, you a profit. Well, take advantage of our children. Well, why not the Mississippi campaign when we have watermelon fields? We offer incentives for you know. I mean, there's people willing to. Across the border and willing to work and just I'm exactly. just saying the gang. But I mean, we can talk more of that, right? But you know, it, it's 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 not complicated. So it's not, I, I'm not going. You know, it's not. I'm looking forward to Nature Mom for part two. Yeah, because uh, everything she's saying is the foundation, and just like you said, it's the prototype to where we got here with this idea, this vision, Mississippi campaign. That's the prototype. And that's I see why you, you get burned out because I got burned out just going back and forth with Yang and I'm like, yo, what you don't, what you're not seeing? I'm like, what the, I I was getting I was just getting oh I was getting so frustrated. I'm like, it's not complicated. Why are we why are we making this uh oh god, why are we doing this? Like, oh you know, and I'm thinking it's giving me a headache. <laughs> 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 Let me let you go, man. All right, you can go without, man. It's a far show, man. But it, it's simple. All right, man. Shout out to the chat chat room, yeah. the Dinkins of Reality, Brother Trevor, and all, the, all everybody that's listening, and those who will be listening uh, to this broadcast later. I'm going to dump this down to my channel and re replay it. So until next time, I'm Angel Snow Number Seven, the Mighty One. This is Black Sign, the Shizzles, the Zizzle, Black Sign. This is the Arena Uncessor. And as our brother, Dr. Nudis, used to always say as a pardon, we wish y'all love, peace, and so, so, so. And we are already 5,000. Peace. Peace. <laughs>